Oh. I think there are three levels yeah. at which we create democracy. Yes. One How? is the level at which we elect a president. It's the most superficial level. Mm -hmm. It's just that through globalization, central authority has appropriated a lot of power. And that's why we've always said from the beginning, food is too precious to be part of WTO. It should be brought out of WTO. Mm -hmm. Seed is too, be pre too precious to be left to intellectual property monopoly of Monsanto. It should be reclaimed as a commons. So we have to undo the harm of globalization and free trade. And you had a foreign minister and ambassador to GATT, Rico Perro. I remember mm -hmm. when we were fighting against GATT, I was working with our ambassador, and Rico Perro has said, the choice you're giving, he was telling the rich countries, the choice you're giving us is as the chicken who's going to be eaten, and you're asking us, what sauce would you like to be eaten with? And it is such a clear example mm -hmm. of the, what free trade is. Free trade is freedom for the corporations, freedom for the rich countries, freedom for the billionaires. No freedom for the others, except what sauce will you be eaten with? Mm -hmm. uh, and I think all this concentration of power that's happened yeah. with globalization, the emergence of billionaires, 10 billionaires controlling half the wealth of the world, uh, that definitely needs a reversal because that meant changes in our rules. Mm -hmm. That meant changes in our governance. It meant deregulation. That's how GMO soya entered Brazil and exactly. em entered Argentina. The second thing is most of our countries have had federal structures. Mm -hmm. Regions had power, which centralization took away from them. We need to reclaim that. That's a big struggle in India where our states are saying we are a federation, mm -hmm. you know, and as federation, we too, and food and health are governed regionally, never centrally. You know, defense and finance are usually authorities of a central government. But everything related to life is different because, you know, the Amazon is different from the south. The of desert course. of India is different from the ra rainforest of Kerala. But the third thing, which is the most important thing, which we've forgotten, at the end of it, you cannot reclaim the commons without creating community. Commons are governed by community mm -hmm. because commons means caring and using equitably. Yeah? And, you know, like, look at the magnolia. She's created a commons of shade. Yeah. Here we are sitting on a hot afternoon. And here is a commons. But True. it's because this tree has been protected. Mm -hmm. It tree has been loved and tree has been respected. So community and local freedoms is so what, for example, MST has worked yeah. on, you know, local yeah. food production, seed saving, organizing a new politics. Mm -hmm. So, yes, there is a centralized politics that is thoroughly corrupted by Big Bunny. They totally. only put in place people who will create rules and laws for their for profits. Yes. Exactly. And that's why they get rid, they manufacture displacement of leaders who work for their people. Mm -hmm. Because most leaders, particularly in the last 10 years, have been put in place by big money. Yes. You know, very often they are names that weren't even known in the country. Mm -hmm. You know, out of yep. the blue, they came they, up as leaders. Exactly. But we need to remember we are decentralized and we are self-ruled. And our power for self-governance is what Gandhi called Swaraj. Swa is self. Raj is to govern over yourself. That is the commons. That is the democracy of the commons. And finally, I would say, when we sit with this tree, the tree is part of our family. Mm -hmm. And that's why I talk of earth democracy. So we need to stop thinking that big money putting puppets in place is the way politics works. We have to turn to the tree we have to turn to the microorganisms and say, give us guidance on how to create democracy and justice and freedom. That's so empowering. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's why you're a lighthouse, you know. You're a living lighthouse because you bring, um, you bring hope. You know, listening to you, it's very important. Sometimes when we are in dark times, we, we can breathe and we're like, oh my God, we're like, I don't know what, what to do anymore. And to listen to you, it's something really refreshing. So but Bella, it's only because it's every time I see horrendous actions by a small elite in the world, yeah, I turn to nature 
I turn to the seed, I turn to the trees, I turn to the grass and ask, how do you work? You know, show me the way. And for me, one of my most favorite images is, you know, they build concrete and put concrete everywhere. And suddenly out of the blue in the concrete, a flower will come out. We have to be fl like flowers bursting through the concrete.